Okay, we're ready to go. Who are we watching today? Michael, Erica, and Erica's mother, Marianne. Oh. She's moving in with them. Nice. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Erica. We have three boys, Matthew, 24, Adam, 14, and Ben, who's 12. When we bought this house, it wasn't our ideal house. And now we're at the point in our lives where our kids are older and we're able to make the changes so that we can finally make this house our house. There's really not much nice things to say about my kitchen right now. Oh, that kitchen. Every one of my appliances is mismatched. It's off. Uh, look at the hood fan. It's yellow and old and greasy and gross. <sighs> the space is entirely too small. There's no cabinet space whatsoever. So my dishes are in the dining room area, I guess you could say. The microwave is totally not even near the kitchen. You have to go down in a whole different room to get to the microwave. Go downstairs, come back, go down, come back. Oh my God, what a ridiculous way to live. And on top of that, we want to be able to provide for my mom. She's 72, 73, and she's so very, very active. She's been talking about it for years and years and years about buying this RV. And, you know, she always says, I'm leaving put the house up for sale. And she just says to me all the time, I just want a place to lay my head. It'd just be so much easier if she was just here. If we can do it, I would love to be able to, you know, do that for her. We have a mud room downstairs, tiny little bathroom down there that no one uses. So we really want to see if we can reconfigure that whole entire area. So that she is able to have less burden on herself. And then if there is ever a time where we need it to help her, she's right here. And that's something that you know, weighs heavily on me because I want to make sure that I do the right thing as a daughter. It's a challenge. And here's the problem. When you've been making do for as long as they have, which I have a sense that this has been going on for a long time, mm -hmm. you get used to it until something shakes you up. In this case, it's going to be Erica's mother moving in. And me, I'm going to shake them up. I bet you are. Hi. Hey, welcome. welcome. Thank you. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Yes. Here it is. Yeah. All right. OK, so show me around. All right, okay. come on in. Starting kitchen. The kitchen, you can see, there's a lot of things just aren't working for us. Can right? we just say it's it is terrible. a terrible kitchen? It's a it is. It's a terrible that. kitchen. There's not one thing I like about the kitchen. No, there is nothing that you should like about the kitchen. It's too small, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, no countertop space either. None. So we no, can't... no, no, this is just dysfunctional terrible. Okay, we don't <laughs> have to tell me anything else. So, what about this in terms of living space? Can you all be in there together? Does it work? It does not work. Because of the fireplace, it's difficult for us to watch the TV together because someone has to sit over here and the viewing angle, it just isn't right. No, no, so. no, you're looking in the opposite direction, basically. It's one of those. Yes. Yeah. Right. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't no, work. it doesn't work. It's a masonry fireplace, which is not that easy to take out. Right. So that may end up staying by default. We'll see how it goes. If we can make the space inviting for a group of people to be entertained, and that's the goal. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, so with all of that in mind, I get this, I get that, totally get the kitchen. <laughs> so where next? And then explain to me the issues. Downstairs. Okay. Okay, so down here, we have an area that we would like to change um, for my mom so she can move in with us. We would like to give our mom um, space with her own room her own bathroom, her own little kitchen area, so that she feels that it's her own space where she's not sharing with us. This is kind of a catch-all. Everything I have no room for for my kitchen is down here. This is like my pantry. Yep. And this is all like crock pot, stuff like that. And then this, this is our laundry room. Plus, it's a lot of other things. OK, let's go on upstairs then. Okay. okay. <laughs> She's so comfortable. I <laughs> love it. All right, tell me more about your mother. She's by herself, and she just doesn't want to have the upkeep of taking care of her own home. I just want to make her comfortable where she doesn't have to worry about anything anymore. And she wants to travel. She wants to be fully sustainable downstairs on her own. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people have a dream of retiring and getting an RV and exploring and touring the country. And they really just need a very small space when they're at home. And I think it's so great that Erica is doing this for her mom. Just remind me of your budget. Seventy to 90,000. No, let's go with 90,000. If we're <laughs> lucky, we'll go for 70. Can we do it that way around? Sure. Yeah. God, I never had anybody say yes so easily. Other than the complete dysfunction of the main floor, the real challenge here is the space for Marianne, where I am taking an area that was never, ever meant to be lived in and turning it into a space that when she walks into it, perfectly finished, perfectly livable, perfectly comfortable. 
I've asked Erica to have her mother come by just so that I can meet her in person and really understand what she wants and needs. Oh, hi. Marianne. Yeah, Hillary. I want to have a little one-on-one -on -one with you. OK, sounds yeah? good. OK, great. OK. So let's talk about the big change <laughs> here. Yeah. You get a sense of how small it's going to be. Right. I don't need a whole lot. I mean... And what I would just like is, is like, an efficiency. I totally get it. I really do. It's just making this really small, tight space work for you. Yeah. The concept is that you now have decided you want to travel. I want to see um, all of the United States that I can. Oh, I think it's a great idea, great adventures, and it's fantastic. Oh, it's going to be an adventure. So this is really a move that's giving you freedom. Exactly. I'm going to turn this into something that is like your RV. Yeah, that would be perfect. OK, that's my challenge. I love it. I'm looking forward to it. How's everyone? Excited? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I am. Can't okay. wait. Yes. So I want you to take a look at this. It's really all about the kitchen. So we all know that this kitchen just does not work. It's tiny, it doesn't function properly, but I'm going to change all that. I'm going to expand this area into the dining room with a large island, upgraded appliances, and ample storage. I'm also going to rearrange this living room so the family can all be together and take advantage of the entire space. The whole main floor of this house is going to feel brand new. There is no reason for anything that belongs in a kitchen to be anywhere but in the kitchen now. Right. Yep, that would be fantastic. And really, there isn't the option to have your things downstairs anymore because we're creating space for Marianne. So now, Madame. You said this was going to be a challenge. <laughs> it is a challenge, but it's not a challenge that we can't meet. Marianne, you're sweet on the lower level. Now, it's a small area, but we're going to make the most of every inch. We're going to blow out all the walls and completely rework the layout. I'm hoping I can relocate the HVAC system and the water heater to give you a full bathroom with a shower. What I'm definitely giving you is a really beautifully proportioned kitchenette and living room, including a sleeper sofa to save on space. It really will be everything you need to recharge between your road trips. I'm excited to see it all together. Very it's good. It's going to be fun. We are too. So, tell me why this is still up. So, ran into a little bit of a logistics issue. If we were to put our beam in, that would be the approximate depth of it coming down. It doesn't work for your design at all. This wall is slated for demolition, but it's load bearing. Now, usually, it's not a huge problem, but because the space between the ceiling and the roof isn't deep enough for a new support beam, it's going to protrude 10 inches from the ceiling, and the goal here is to have an open concept space. Huh, that beam is going to be an eyesore. So we have a solution that we can go and we can install it from above. The only issue that we have is the dynamics of actually getting a 16-foot beam into this attic space. Chris and the crew are wasting no time getting that support beam in. And the new floors are going in on the main floor. Now that their cabinets are going to remain white, I really want to add a bold color to their kitchen somewhere. And that backsplash is the perfect place. Instead of the classic white tiles I'd planned, I'm now giving them blue glass tiles that will become a focal point in the kitchen. And I'm bringing that same blue into the living room by painting the fireplace the same color. It's time to add the last elements to this design. So I've asked the family to move out, stay with friends, so it doesn't ruin the surprise. This is my favorite part of a renovation. All the chaos has been turned into functionality, and now is the fun part, bringing in personal items and elements that will really make this special for the family. Chris has taken that live edge wood that they've had in their basement for I don't know how many years and turned it into a beautiful coffee table. We brought this in from Marianne's home. This meant so much to her, and we found a little spot for it. Important. OK, I think we're done. I love this little place. OK, ta-da! Oh, my heavens. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh no way. What? This is amazing. It is amazing.
So the way this room is working is because your television is now there. <gasps> Look at that TV stand. Yeah. It's amazing. Here's what's great about this. The television is over here. It is completely visible from the sofa. You can move the chairs around if you need to, mm -hmm. but it doesn't take up space. And what that allows us to do is to center your seating on the fireplace and turn that into a really fabulous focal point, which it was not before. Uh -huh. It was a very puny looking little fireplace. Yes. Yeah. And it needed to have some presence. I love that live edge uh, mantle. I too. do too. I've always, that's exactly what I wanted. It's amazing. Oh, you gave Jingles her, her own place. I know. Bubbles. Yes, Jingles has to have her own place. She does. Just so you understand how the simple things can change everything, this wall protruded out to about here. Remember? Mm -hmm. Just by taking that back, look at what that gave us in terms of being able to have the flow that you need. Yeah. yeah. It's the smallest thing sometimes that can make the difference. Right. And wow. here you have function and flow into the kitchen. So this used to be your <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. That was pretty much it. And the kitchen didn't work on any level. It was ugly, it was old, it wasn't functioning, it was nasty, the floor was horrible. Not Don't at all. hold back, Hillary. Don't hold back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's just be honest. You had half of your kitchen stuff, your microwave was downstairs, you were storing yeah. your food downstairs. Yes. It's yeah. all here now. Yeah, it was, a, it was a train wreck. Come and look at this. Storage, storage. Everywhere you look, there is storage. I don't even know if I can fill all of this. Look at this fridge. Love the fridge. Yeah, Spectacular fridge. Yes. Look at this great big sink. Oh my God, I could take a bath in here. Who's going to be doing the dishes? The dishwasher. Oh, OK. You have a six burner Crazy. range. Oh my God. Holy wow. cow. You've got loads of prep area right behind you on the island, on each side. We had a window we had to get rid of. I was not a big fan of getting rid of that window, but now that I see everything together, it's... It, looks, it looks fantastic. Yes. The blue, I have to admit, I absolutely love the blue backsplash. Since we lost the blue on the island cabinets, I made up for it with this lovely blue in the backsplash. I just love it. And having a hood that actually works. And it's not yellow. And it's not pretty yellow. much everything that actually works, I think, yeah. is what we're talking about now, <laughs> as opposed to what you had. Yeah. And the floors, you've oh. got these beautiful floors running through the whole place, lovely hardwood oak. I love the hardwood. I mean, we knew we had oak floors, but now that they're refinished, it really, it really pops. Now, what have we got left? We've got Marianne's space. Okay. I'm excited for yeah, her. Yeah, I want to see that so space. So I'm going to go down there just with her. Okay. And then you'll, you know, obviously you'll come and do it. Yeah. All I'm right. excited for her. I am excited for her. Yeah. Here is your space. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is exactly perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. This is unbelievable. You wanted a desk, but you also needed oh, a place where you could sit and you, right. could eat. you could also have a friend over. So this has a hinge and it can drop right down or you can swing it around and extend it. So it would be bigger and it would go this way if you wanted more people to join you. It doesn't you... look small. It doesn't, it just looks, it looks cozy. Yes, it looks cozy. So that's your sleeper sofa. It's very easy to open. You've got lovely natural light that come in through those two windows, so it'll never feel as though you are on a lower level. So now one of the most important areas in this little space is where you're going to prepare meals. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect four. This is perfect. And I get a stove. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This, <laughs> this is good. Oh my gosh. I have more space here than I do at my house. This is unbelievable. 